Well, Miami wide receiver Tyreek Hill coming off a standout first season with the Dolphins, just shy of 120 catches for over 1,700 yards. He and the Fish will be looking to build on that as they chase an AFC title in 2023. Hill has a healthy quarterback and a core around him now comfy in head coach Mike McDaniel's offense. And Hill was speaking with our HQ guys at Dolphins camp on Friday. All right, first I'm starting with those shoes. Are you kidding me? Those are fantastic. How do those, where do you uh, get is, those? Is that, a, those. is that a lightning you, bolt? Yeah, that is a lightning bolt. Um, it, it actually isn't my designer logo. It's one of uh, one of my buddies. And um, I'm just in the process of, you know, trying to create my own cleat, you know, trying to create my own colorway because we all know I got the brand Soul Runner. I got the brand uh, Grip Boost with the football gloves with the peace sign on the inside. So just trying to find ways to be creative, you know, trying to find ways to, you know, just use, you know, my college expertise and marketing and all of that stuff. Diversification. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Let's talk get up the uh, talk a little bit about the relationship when Eli came down here, Apple, uh -huh. and when uh -huh. they signed him, and everybody knows the history between you two. How's it been down here since he's come aboard? You know, it's been great. You know, I, I believe a lot of people, you know, they feed into like what what goes on, you know, in the social media world, but a lot of people don't know that um, me and Eli don't like we, we have no beef at all. You know, and um, I, I believe our head coach and GM. They actually were, sh were shocked when they called me. They was like, hey, Reek, um, we about to sign a guy you may not like. I'm like, who? They was like, Eli Apple. I'm like, I like. I mean, I love the guy. Like, bring him on in. Like, um, just trying to find ways to add more competition, more, you know, more, like, feisty competition into camp. You know, it's always great. You know, I'm, I never back down from uh, adding uh, another competitor to this team. So, any way to make this team better, I'm all for it. And there's no beef between me and Eli Apple. Will he get some shoes as they come out? Yes, he will get some shoes <laughs> once they come out, man. So um, all of that stuff was just for social media. So. Outstanding. You heard it here first. Beef squashed. So we're just letting no go. Beef. No beef. No beef whatsoever. So let's add into it, feed, let's it feeding into your offense. Last year, you guys, so dynamic, so many ways to do things. Right. How do you continue to add to that and show some things that maybe you haven't shown before on the offensive side of the ball? Um. Well, the coaching staff and, you know, our GM, they have already done that. Um, you can see that the weapons that they brought in, um, they obviously believe in, you know, what we already got here in me, J-Dub, and Cedric Wilson. But um, when you bring in Braxton Berrios, um, Chosen Anderson, and then you add in those other guys who they drafted, Braylon and uh, E, and uh, quite a few more other guys, you know, um, it just shows that um, the sky's the limit for, for this offense. And, you know, like, Obviously, you know, we want to be the best offense in the league, but, you know, it's going to take, you know, dedication to what we do out here in training camp and, you know, what, what we do out here in all, in all of these practices. And that's what we're doing now. You know, like you can see the chemistry from, from J-Dub and Tua today. Like they was clicking like left and right, left and right. So it's, it's going to be special. Tyreek, you raved about Tua last year. Now that right. you're a year later, how much better is he than it was a year ago? Well, um, physically, you know, um, um, I, I can say – you know, he's looking um, a lot more sharper. But, you know, um, I'm starting to see that confident tour, you know, where a lot of people was, was going crazy about when he was back at Bama saying, hey, this guy was vocal. This guy was a much more of a leader in the locker room. And now I'm beginning to see that, the, the more playful side of tour. And this is the side of tour that, you know, you know, we all want because when when he's playing at that level, when he's able to be comfortable in this offense because he is the franchise co quarterback, you know, he's going to – to me, he's gonna he's gonna do something crazy. I'm not gonna, you know, do no bold prediction here, but he's gonna do something crazy this year, and and I feel it, man. With, with the amount of talent that we got around him, and just the offensive line, you know, the guys that they brought in to protect them, it's gonna be crazy this year. Speaking of adding players, and there's one player still that is out there on the street, uh -huh. uh, a running back named Dalvin Cook, who's from this area. Right. Um, I know you have very talented running back room, but have you talked to him, or is there still a possibility of potentially signing him here? You know what? I haven't talked to Dalvin, but um, you know Miami is his hometown, so um, the guys that we already got in the running back room, I'm sure those guys, you know, would welcome him with open arms. You know, a lot of people may not look at it like that, but you know, this team here is all about family. This team here is all about winning. So, you know, um, just adding in more competition, you know. To, to fuel us to, to become better. Because a lot of people don't know this. You know, I'm going into year eight right now. Like, I've been doing this for a long time. I feel like, you know, 
our position coach found a way to get me going each and every day. He split up me and Jalen Waddle, and he put us into individual. Well, he put us into teams. So Jalen Waddle has a team of four receivers. I have a team of four receivers. And the way that it goes every day is if you get a catch or you get a touchdown, you know, your team wins. And loser has to pay for dinner at the end of training camp. And we all know how that bill will look. <laughs> 20000 30000 And I'm the type of person I don't like to lose. I don't care what, what I'm doing. I don't like to lose or nothing. So – our coaches are finding ways to, you know, make us, you know, want to get better each and every day. And, you know, like I, I believe adding Davin will, will, will just help us out even more, man. And you mentioned you don't like to lose. Part of that I don't. is being a pure pro. Yeah. I mean, before you even sat down with us, you talked about, hey, I'm just getting ready to get, get another workout in. Yes, sir. A lot of people think end of the day, you're done, you move on. But in order to be in your eighth year and play at the level you're playing, right. the workouts never stop, correct? They, they never stop. They never stop. And, um, you know, um, to be able to play, you know, I'm blessed and grateful, you know, to be in this position that God blessed me in. But also, you know, um, shout out to the Dolphins for, for bringing me here. You know, to be able to do what we do every day, man, it takes a lot. You feel me? Like, we come out here and practice. Then you got to go in there. You got you to gotta work out. You got to lift weights um, to prevent injuries and stuff. And then you got to watch the film. Then you got to do another walkthrough. So we, we don't get out of here till about 8 o'clock at night sometimes. We come in in the morning at 7, don't leave till 8. So it gets crazy. Our days are long, man. So just sacrificing that amount of time from your family, it sucks sometimes. But um, to get where you want to be at, you know, I got um, all of the guys on this team believe in the vision. So nobody's complaining. You know, everybody's straining the finish. Everybody wants to be great. And we, we want to win here. So if that's what it takes, that's what we're going to do. One last thing. You mentioned you're not a kid anymore. Right. Can anybody beat you in a 40? Nobody can beat me in a 40, man. I'm, I'm – <laughs> I'm I'm uh I'm still him. I'm still the cheater, baby. At the end of the day, I'm still the cheater. You know, um, I may not show it every day at practice, but a lot of people got to understand. And I learned this from Travis Kelsey. You know, um, and I'm gonna say this, and I don't I don't know where I'm finna go with this, but Travis Kelsey told me, probably like my second or third year, he was like, "Reek, it's gonna come a time in your career at practice," because I used to be like all out full speed every day. 100 miles an hour, 100, 110 miles per hour. It was like, Rick, it's going to come a time in your career where you're going to have to find ways, smaller ways to get better at your game. You know, you, like, of course you're fast, of course you can do this, but you got to sometimes work your double ups. You got to sometimes work your, your moves in your game. You feel me? So when I'm out here in practice, I'm not, I'm not only beating guys with my speed, and I'm also te teaching Jalen Waddle this too, though, because I want him to be able to take his game to the next level because that really helped me take my game to the next level. You feel me? Like, if we do a move in practice and we get clamped up, you know what I'm saying, just because we're working our double ups, that's cool. That's cool. Like, at least we tried it. But if we continuously coming out here, you know, just depending on our speed, you know, not working our moves, not working our releases, then we're not getting better. Like, we, we continuously doing the same thing. So you got to find ways to evolve your game. And I got on Twitter because my sister sent me a tweet. She was like, I ain't like you, like you having a real quiet training camp. I like because I'm working on my game. Like, I'm slowly working on my game, and if you go in and watch the film, I'm I'm working, guys. Like I'm I'm getting my Travis Kelsey on at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> I'm open every time. Like I mean, I get the ball, but I'm working, guys. I'm working on my game. I'm finding ways to fine tune my game, and that's how I, I find ways to to stay in the league. And that's what I'm telling Waddle. I'm telling all the all the young guys up under me. Like we got to find ways to work on our game and make sure that we're doing it in the time of the play, so Tua can get us the ball, or Mike White can get us the ball, or Skylar can get us the ball. So that's just my little tidbit of it. You feel me? <laughs> Thanks, Tyreek. Appreciate it, man. I mentioned the season that Hill had last year, 119 receptions for the Dolphins. Nobody else had over 100. And as you take a look at most receiving yards in the first season with a new team, uh, Hill is the runaway leader there. 1,710 yards with the Dolphins last year, surpassing Stephon Diggs' 1,535 that he had in 2020 and the 1,516 Devontae Adams had with the Raiders in 2022.